Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 686. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 686 to 697. Hey, in this trick here we have a data set, company and product two columns and we need to combine them except for there's some missing values. This should be PCC, PCC, WFMI. This is our goal. We need to somehow create these values in this column. Now, <clears throat> the common way to do this and this is from the Mr. Excel message board, is simply to highlight the whole column and use Go To to select the blank. So I'm going to hit F5, which is Go To, Special, and then Blanks. When you click OK, it highlights all the blanks. Then you simply, knowing that lots of cells are highlighted, you can create the same formula in all of them by simply doing the equal sign, click one cell above, that's a relative cell reference, and to populate all of these, you know, this column could be huge, but to populate all of the highlighted cells, you hold Control and tap Enter. Now you filled it in, now it's easy. You just do a formula like this. Equals PCC, and we're joining, so we use Shift 7. The ampersand is the join symbol, and we need a dash, so we have to put double quote, dash, double quote. So far we've just joined, I controlled Enter, just the uh, thing and a dash, F2. So we uh, ampersand and we get uh, uh, now three things we're joining, Control, Enter. That certainly is one way. Uh, Aladdin had a great um, alternative method, meaning we didn't have to do the go to, although that's it's pretty fast to do that. Um, but this is very clever. Um, what he did was he used the, and I'm going to have to remove all of these, Uh, watch this. I'm going to highlight these. Imagine if you had this huge column and you're like, I got to highlight all the formulas. F5, which is go to special formulas. Click OK. And now I'm going to delete. All right, we just want from this data, say, say for example, your boss didn't let you put those values there. They wanted it like that. Well, then you'd have to do something like uh, what Aladdin suggested here. We're going to use the lookup function. Lookup is. Um, similar to VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. It only does approximate match. And in uh, some other videos, we're, we use the idea of a big value. And we're going to do th two things. We're going to use a big value. And our value is not going to be a number. It's going to be the biggest possible word. And that's for the lookup value. And for the lookup vector, we're going to use an expandable range. Now let's use the repeat function. And since our goal is to put the biggest possible thing into the lookup value, well, no word starts with um, lots of Z's all strung together. So we're going to go repeat, that's the text to repeat, comma, and then uh, number of times. How about 255? Now, 255 is an interesting number. It is the maximum number of characters that any lookup function match VLOOKUP lookup, H lookup can handle. So that's why we put it there. And I'll show you an interesting uh, uh, experiment that will prove that in just a moment. So right now, that's re uh, repeating Z's 250 times. Now, we want to look up. And the lookup vector, we're just going to go like this. And now I'm going to do um, shift colon. That puts A5 to A5. That'll be the lookup vector, but we need to put our cursor in the first A5 and hit the um, F4 key. I'm going to just lock it going down because we're only going down across the column. Now, think about this. What this is doing is it's expanding. Right now it'll find PCC, but since the lookup function ignores blanks when the range expands down to here and then down to here, in both cases it won't, it'll ignore those blanks and it will pick up PC, PCC. When it gets down to here, of course, it will pick the last value, which is WFMI. All right, control enter. Let's just see if this works. And sure enough, it does. You can see when we get down here, the uh, range has expanded. Now, all we have to do is come to the end and ampersand, double quote, dash, ampersand, uh, and double quote, ampersand, and this. Totally beautiful formula. Now, uh, let's take just a quick look at. Um, here's PCC, and I used repeat 256 just to prove to my, yourself, right? I, I go and look and help under lookup, and I can't find that it says 255 is the max. But So you try this. I, I try 256. Now I'm going to use this as my lookup range. So what I did was I said, hey, the lookup 
repeat 255 times and look here, right? This is the last item here, so it should find it, but does it? No way. Same with uh, VLOOKUP, same exact construct. construct. Same with MATCH. So all of these functions have a limit of 255 characters. Now watch this. As soon as I change this to 255, boom. Lookup is returning the 255Zs, so is VLOOKUP, and MATCH is returning a 2. All right, totally clever use of uh, lookup, repeat, and expandable range. We'll see you next trick.